So, a uh, step by step, uh, we see that constitutional uh, uh, right to travel, to leave the country, is uh, in some way more and more in doubt. And uh, I'm quite disturbed, uh, not only myself, but uh, many people are disturbed by that development, you know. As far as media are concerned, uh, I'm sorry to say that it's uh, quite difficult nowadays to distinguish any independent media except probably some uh, internet sites located outside Russia. Uh, national TV is uh, the biggest problem, of course, but uh, uh, quite apparent it's uh, propaganda misleading people, discussing the troubling uh, reality, and uh, the Russian TV, to my mind, plays quite a negative in uh, uh, terms of uh, social and uh, uh, political development in this country. So the Russian TV basically uh, helps to promote uh, government deceptions and misleads the people about what's really going on in the country? Uh, I was part of uh, an important TV program uh, in Moscow for uh, Russian minorities in other countries. Uh, actually, the text and the features we've been producing to show on our uh, daily programs, they were uh, edited by the Kremlin. And uh, there even was a, in our team a real KGB control. Actually, again, that was sort of manipulation. There is absolutely no way to say about uh, uh, independent uh, TV journalism in Russia today. So that the KGB and the Kremlin were dictating the program and what was said and they would punish a journalist if they got out of line? Not only uh, just the KGB, also the high-ranking officials. Uh, mm -hmm. Daily we've been getting a, a sort of guidance from uh, the presidential administration responsible for ideology and uh, propaganda. And of course, uh, w with the KGB and Kremlin officials and presidential administration officials, Dictating the television, we know what an important role television plays. Yes. It was uh, troubles for our other journalists. Uh, the number of those uh, killed and suppressed was uh, growing, and the uh, majority of that cases has not been properly investigated. Well, in the case of Anna Politkovskaya, the Russian journalist who was shot to death uh, outside her apartment in October of 2006... There's been no real finding out of who those killers were. And there are signs that uh, influential forces uh, in this country are absolutely not interested to investigate that case. And of course, Paul Klebnikov, the Forbes journalist yeah. in Moscow, he was gunned down on a Moscow street. Did they apprehend anyone for that? As far as I know, up till the moment, uh, the case is uh, unresolved. Now, uh, Paul Klebnikov, he was shot in the summer of 2006 or 2005, do you remember? Yes, earlier than 2006, yeah. Yeah. So, tell me, is the Russian public being fed anti-American propaganda? Are they being uh, fed anti-capitalist, anti-democratic? What, what exactly is the propaganda consist of? Our oh, propaganda is definitely uh, anti-Western and uh, uh, always pointing at the West as the source of all problems and troubles uh, facing Russia. And uh, the American policy that uh, they are behind uh, independence of uh, uh, neighboring countries, Ukraine, uh, Georgia, Baltics, etc., and they are directing those countries against Russia and so on. The American way of life is presented in quite a distorted, derogative way, so that probably make uh, Russians against that uh, very system. And uh, as far as capitalism and democracy are concerned, we should uh, uh, keep in mind the Russian <laughs> way of doing capitalism. Actually, capitalism as a free market economy is not a popular I issue, not a popular topic nowadays in Russia. So actually, uh, the viewers, the audiences are brought to the idea that uh, capitalism as a free market economy is not the most uh, viable solution uh, for, for the economic uh, problems facing now Russia, you know.
Yeah, and and how serious are Russia's economic problems? I mean, we here in this country, you know, the vice president of the United States was over there, and he made some comments about it being so much worse the economic troubles, and and there's sort of the idea that Russia could destabilize much easier than, for example, the United States in these times. Uh, you know. Uh uh, I would agree with uh, quite a number of uh, experts uh, which see Russia as a sort of humanitarian catastrophe. Simply, if you uh, consider life uh, expectancy in this country and uh, huge numbers of uh, suicides and uh, low uh, living standards in various parts of Russia and uh, quite considerable numbers of millionaires and billionaires Mm -hmm. On the other hand, uh, the road network in Russia is diminishing. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, we see growing number of uh, 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 very expensive villas and uh, expensive cars on uh, the streets of Moscow and uh, probably St. Petersburg as well uh, elsewhere. But that picture, uh, that presentation on wealth in biggest city, especially in the capital, is quite misleading. If you just go further into Russian provinces, you immediately receive how difficult and sometimes desperate situation is there. Instead, to put more money into improving the situation of ordinary Russians there, the Moscow government is eager to uh, proceed with its uh, projects in terms of armaments, of manipulating Western media, etc. So is, is, is the association of these uh, wicked wealthy people who are hogging all the wealth uh, associated with an anti-capitalist message that's being given to the country? And is the country then being prepared for a return to socialism? You know, uh, it's again a, a complicated story. They are so much interconnected with uh, both local and uh, central authorities. So on the other hand, the corruption of them is, is uh, uh, quite notorious. Mm -hmm. All of them are engaged uh, into businesses, mainly consisting in redistributing uh, national wealth. Uh, so, there is sort of mixture, uh, bureaucracy with uh, quasi-private businesses and uh, intermingling uh, between each other, etc., etc., were, were the uh, Russian oligarchs, the wealthy billionaires in Russia, were they picked as by the KGB or the Communist Party structures to be fronts, to interface with the West and to portray capitalism in a negative light in the long term? You probably mean uh, those uh, oligarchs uh, active with the media, etc. Yes. So, the point is that they were predominantly former secret police officers. Ah. Actually, uh, the KGB, GRU, and that sort of thing, they were uh, major sources of such company, and actually that is the situation we are facing now. Hmm, interesting. And where is the Kremlin leading Russia today? Is Russia headed towards conflict with the United States? Is it, is it allied with China? Is it going to uh, try to dominate Europe? Is it going to try to destroy the dollar as an international currency for advantage? Well, where are they headed? Uh, some of those things uh, are correct in my mind. Some others uh, I would uh, see uh, differently. Definitely, there is an alliance with China, also a military one, with a quite distinct anti-American uh, aspects. As far as the conflict with America is concerned, uh, so far I would doubt that uh, Russia is going to launch a major military uh, conflict or major military attack uh, against uh, America or, or NATO. That's uh, hardly possible. Anyway, uh, Russia will going be engaged into subversive activities and uh, uh, all of us have been uh, witness of attempts made to undermine the in independence of Ukraine, for example, as a transit country of gas uh, towards Western Europe. Uh, uh, definitely just uh, pursuing the same uh, quite uh, 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 subversive and sometimes even aggressive uh, priorities, yeah. So Russia is... Um seeking to expand its power with it they don't want a war in Europe but could they possibly could they possibly want something bad to happen to the United States that would knock the United States out as a major power uh, there were continually uh, wishes express that uh, Americans get in, even into more trouble with the economies 
that uh, American system would or should break down, that the United States uh, ultimately should be uh, uh, deprived of the ability to control uh, one of the major currencies or just that the dollar should be put aside and some other sorts of world currencies uh, with participation of China and some other uh, states should be introduced, etc., etc. So uh, the, the American position in the world finances is a very unpleasant uh, thing uh, for the Kremlin as they understand that a lot of uh, 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 things in this world they depend on the state of America.